This is uh, Flomeo, a new tool that I have just created uh, specifically for planning out the flows of uh, sort of lock and key one way flows in uh, video game design for designing games. Uh, and I'm going to give you a quick overview in this video because uh, this is going to be easier than trying to make a tutorial. Uh, so over here I have my, my graph with just a start node right now and it says here is uh, the whole list of all of my nodes and start is the only one. Uh, this is the pretty name of the start node. This is the ID and this is how deep it is. And this is any notes I can add to it. So um, let's say that I want to, uh, I'm making a game where the player has to build a bridge <clears throat> to access the other shore. So I can add a child to start and call it build bridge. Uh, and then I can I can switch to it by either clicking on it over here and that'll switch to it or I can click on it right here in the child list uh, and then I can give it a prettier name. Call it build bridge to other shore. Okay, and then I can add a child uh, to go to other shore. Cool. And then on the other shore, I can, you know, add whatever I need to do on the other shore. So then, that kind of unblocks me from, if I want to focus on all this stuff that you do on the other shore, I can go ahead and put that in right now. And then I can come back later if I want to and say, okay, how are we going to build the bridge? Obviously, you can't just click build a bridge. I mean, you can in some games click build bridge, and it'll build the bridge, but we want to make sort of a I don't know, so sort of a survival-y or crafty game. So we want to say, let's see, to build a bridge, we need to, uh, let's say we need to gather wood to, uh, to make the bridge out of. And let's say we need to uh, make the hammer tool. Uh, so you can use the hammer to build the bridge. So now we have gather wood and make hammer as parents of the build the bridge to the other shore. Um, and then we also still have start as a parent. We can get rid of start since that's kind of redundant now. And then let's see, so what do we need to do to gather wood? In order to gather wood, we need to make an ax, right? To cut down the wood. Uh, and then in order to make the ax, let's see, what do we use to make the ax? We have to gather some flint to make the ax blade and maybe gather some wood to make the handle of the ax and aha. It tells me I can't make gather wood a parent of make axe because you need the axe to gather wood and that would make a cyclic dependency and that would be bad. We want to avoid that. This is what this whole this what this tool is all about is avoiding those kind of redundancies. So let's see. So uh, get out of this quickly. We'll say uh, you get to gather sticks. Sure, we can gather sticks to make the axe. We can use the sticks and the flint to make an axe. So there you go. So now as you saw. I can um, I can easily add items anywhere in the flow, and then I can click on any item, and it'll tell me uh, all of the chill, all the dependencies, all, everything that that I have to do first before I can do that item, and then everything I can do after everything that that item is a requirement for, uh, and then I can just add stuff whenever I need to. So I I made this. This is a simple example. Um, this is, uh, here's an example of the game I'm actually working on. This is kind of the, the early game flow, um, that I'm working on. It's kind of a, kind of a mess you can see, but one of my, one of my to-do list items is to, uh, try to work out a better system for, uh, the flow chart to make the flow chart prettier. But, uh, but you can see that it'll work for something super crazy like this, um, or for something uh, nice and simple like this. I want to show you, now that I have uh, this graph built out, I can go back and look at my table of contents, and it will list every single one of my nodes, or I can make a new node if I want to uh, uh, eat a bunch of hot dogs. Uh, then I can make a new node for eating hot dogs uh, easily right there just as easily as you saw before that I could add it as a child or a parent of another node. And then you'll see that eat hot dogs now has a depth of one, start has a depth of zero. So the deeper, you, the further you go down the list, uh, the depth increases and the depth will tell you 
it, it tracks based on the furthest parent depth. So even though start, make hammer is only depth one, build bridge is depth four, because it isn't just make hammer, it's also the depth three, gather wood, the depth through, depth two, make axe, etc. Uh, oh, I didn't show you the notes, so if I want to, I can go to eat hot dogs. I can say, remember that eating hot dogs is the most, most important part of this game. Cool. And, uh, you know, a little note there for, for posterity and for myself. So then, if I want to, at this point, I can... Um, I can download all this data as a JSON file um, or as mermaid markup file. Uh, mermaid is the, uh, the library I use to make this flowchart. And uh, in case for some reason you want uh, this flowchart as mermaid markup, you can do that. Uh, but then after you download the JSON, you can also uh, upload the JSON of this. So for instance, if I, if I said, no, I, I need to save this here, I'm gonna like, think about a whole nuanced uh, subsystem of hot dog eating, then I can uh, I can download the JSON here and then make a bunch of crazy changes. And then if I like those changes, then I can keep it. If I don't, then I can say, ooh, yikes, I wish I could go back. Then I can upload the, the uh, that version that I downloaded before and get rid of all that hot dog eating craziness. All right, uh, and of course you can clear the data as well with this button here and start over from a fresh graph. All right, I think that uh, I think that covers it. Um, give it a whirl, link is below, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, bye.